That's gonna get it. That's gonna get it. There we go. Level three in like in like a half the time as yesterday. I told you I'd be back on top. You did. You did, dude. All right. This is a great example of how we're able to layer different modalities at the same time to really customize things for each kid. So on his exam, we found that he had some unilateral findings. So some findings on the right side of his body uh, coming from his right cerebellum and then also the left cortex. And so we're doing activities that stimulate the right cerebellum and the, the left cortex more. So he's got vibration on the right foot, not on the left. He's got laser on the left cortex and not on the right. He's also got unilateral sound. So he's got sound only coming from the right side of his ear, which fires more into the left temporal lobe. So a lot of different things creating activity on the left cortex. Um, some kids have bilateral findings, and so we're not just a strict hemispheric office, but this is a good example of a well-developed kid that we're fine-tuning things here. And so on his right eye, we found that his pursuits were his most challenged oculomotor function. So we're playing a game that actually really emphasizes the importance of pursuit. So he's constantly got to keep his eyes on that moving ball. He's got to predict, he's got to react, he's got to make decisions, he's got to control impulses. He's got to overlook different distracting factors. And so there are a lot of moving pieces here. He's playing games, he's using his eyes, he's using his body, we're using lasers. That means his brain's consuming a lot of energy and that energy is being supported with supplemental oxygen. Room oxygen is only about 20%. This is concentrating to about 90 to 95. With enough oxygen, our brain per energy cycle is able to make 36 units of energy without enough oxygen makes two. So there's a significant difference. The lasers help bring in more blood flow, that's delivering more oxygen, but also high concentrations allow us to maximize that oxygen consumption and then utilization, making this more therapeutic and allowing us to layer more modalities on top of each other without overstimulating or overwhelming the nervous system. So there's a lot of things that really add up to high level therapy all while he's playing a game that he's, he's engaging in. He's trying to beat his high score from yesterday. And this just allows us to have fun while doing things that are also very productive from a, a neuromotor perspective.